I'd like to share with you a movie plot written by Will Zoll in the latest installment of Prussiagate. The working title for the film, Leave the New World Order Behind. After World War II, a top secret Nazi bioweapons program was discovered. The program researched and developed deadly pathogens that could potentially wipe out entire nation states or target specific races. Rogue elements in the U.S. military decided to transfer and continue the program in America along with some of the Nazi scientists. Due to the illegal nature of the program, secrecy was paramount. Recruiting scientists that could maintain the secret was a problem, until the Nazis suggested recruiting pedophile scientists. They could easily be controlled via blackmail, and their desire to rape children proved that they had no empathy for humanity or animals. They would make the perfect researchers for humanity-ending bioweapons. The program was a huge success. A deadly prion disease was isolated from the jungles of New Guinea. The bioweapons program was transferred to private corporations who could not only store the bioweapon agents covertly, but also generate enormous profits. Synthetic compounds could be patented ahead of time to treat diseases that were yet to appear in the public. Trillions of dollars were made, and in order to maintain secrecy, the operation expanded their recruitment to include politicians, judges, law enforcement, CEOs, journalists, scientists, and even actors. They were recruited using the same pedophile strategies before and were deployed to form a protective layer of propaganda, clown shows, and kangaroo courts, all designed to take out anyone who would dare expose the conspiracy. Human beings became nothing more than sheep, a bank of disease incubators and profit machines for a network of self-described globalist elites. However, the strategy to keep the conspiracy silent would eventually fail. A handful of whistleblowers gradually exposed a variety of the scams that were being deployed against humanity. A few investigators, journalists, and police exposed huge pedophile networks involving the rich, powerful, and famous. A light began to flicker as a small portion of the public began to awaken to the idea of a horrible, invisible enemy. Gradually, more and more evidence started bringing the evil network into the light. Code words and symbols used by the pedophile elite were revealed. Citizen journalists, disgusted by what they were uncovering, continued triangulating events to expose even more horrendous secrets and crimes. At every turn, whenever the network of elites tried to cover things up, things got worse. The awakening began to grow exponentially. Political movements declaring a return to law and order started to gain power in governments around the world. A man running for president expressed his desire to apply the death penalty to convicted pedophiles. They tried to stop him, and yet he still became president. They tried everything to remove this president and suppress the will of the people. These actions only served to awaken more and more people. However, the invisible enemy had one last weapon in their possession. They developed the mother of all bioweapons, the kraken of misfolded proteins, the prion. Knowing that the neurodegenerative effects of the prion would take a few years to manifest, they used what was left of their propaganda machine to seed it into public consciousness. Pretending to run a simulation of a potential new pandemic that was about to hit the world, the idea of a deadly brain infection was used as the test case. But the awakened were having none of it. With new eyes, they could see everything that was unfolding and took appropriate steps to end the madness. One side used panic, fear, and force to create digital gulags that were ring-fenced by desperate illegal migrants. The other side used truth, a parallel economy, and cheap generic and natural cures. They provided an opportunity to leave the New World Order behind. The choice to know would be given to every individual, but everyone had to choose. And that's when the real battle for the survival of humanity begins. We can't give away how the movie ends, but we think you will like it. They say truth is written as fiction. 
Stay tuned for the dramatic conclusion. And if you want to understand how to heal yourself of potentially all of the diseases they created for us and how we got here, check out All Aboard the Disease Express at prussiagate.substack.com. Thanks for listening.